Did you know that ginger is also called black ginger, race ginger, and African ginger? You can use the root. It is a stimulant, pungent, carminative, aromatic, dialogue, condiment, and diaphoretic. You can, when taken hot, Ginger is excellent in cases of suppressed menstruation. Chewing a little of the root stimulates the salivary glands and is very useful in paralysis of the tongue and is also good for sore throat. Prevents griping and is good for diarrhea, cold, la gripe, chronic bronchitis, cough, dis gas and fermentation, cholera, gout, and nausea when combined with strong laxative herbs produces sweat when taken hot. going to the beat and everything is going to the beat and everything is going to Um, 
but this is a tea time story time about the only drug-induced trance or vision quest I have been in. Or that I've had so far. So, what I'm going to be talking about is Triple C, also known as Coracetin HBP or the cough and cold medicine for people with high blood pressure. Now, I did these one time before my, all this trans stuff happened that I'm going to talk about and I took four capsules and it didn't really do anything but I did get like the shivers or yeah that's the only way I can describe them is the shivers and I was laying down and it was so uncomfortable and I, my body just shivered um, I don't know how it else to explain it. Um, the, I did these with a friend the first time and they said that she's heard people take 36 tablets and not die from them and so uh, they had me take four because of how skinny I was and we weren't sure how I would react to it because I was pretty thin. I was maybe like 100, 113 pounds. Um, I took them the first time during the, or yeah, during the summer of my senior year or the summer before my senior year of high school. And then we decided that we were going to try them again. So we acquired them. And, or I do believe that I had gotten sick, like actually vomiting from taking four before, um, but we acquired them the week before my senior year started, and I ended up taking eight tablets, um, and then we did smoke a little ca cannabis. Uh, afterwards, I had eaten and we had waited an hour just so that my body could digest it and to try to get around being sick this next time. Um, and then we took the tablets and then we smoked some cannabis. Um, I didn't have the shivers this next time. I don't know why. Um, I laid down and got kind of spacey um, and then we just kind of went to sleep and then I woke up the next morning and it's like people explained to me before taking triple C's that you'll feel like an astronaut. Like you'll feel like you're walking on the moon and I did feel that. Um, but at the same time, I, uh, this, person, this friend had to go home and I told this friend that I wasn't comfortable with it and so this person called their mom to see if they could come pick them up, um, which didn't happen so we waited until I was a little more cooler to take her home. Um, and halfway going to her house, um, my music is, or like the music I was listening to was either trance or the lyrics were very, I guess, hypnotic, um, or there was like a sub beat under the lyrics. So halfway to her, their house, I had blacked out for maybe one to two seconds and I hadn't realized it and I ended up coming back out of that blackout and 
I'm glad I did because I was the one driving the car. Um, and I just kind of looked at my friend and I was like, did I just black out? Um, but then we got to the person's house and I just sat at the table and there was a purple pen and I was drawing on my arm like people do when they're bored and stuff. Um, and then another, or my friend's friend, had come over so we thought we could do her hair. Um, I can't remember if we did her hair before or after all this stuff I'm about to tell you happened. Um, but we had been in my friend's room and the song Sleepyhead came on by Passion Pit. And I had noticed the lime green sharpie over on her bedside table or whatever. And I just got this sudden urge to draw. And I remember picking up the pen, going back to sit down, and I was kind of like, I don't know what to draw. Um, which, uh, let me get off track for a second, because or, no, let me keep going. Um, but, I have remember picking up a Dasani bottle, and it was like one of those eco funky Dasani bottles with like the little leaves in the corner or whatever. I was like, I'm gonna draw a tree. <laughs> and, before I, I didn't even realize what had happened, but I had locked out again. And all of a sudden, there was this white light, and there was this smoke, and it was so detailed, and it just washed away like a wave. It was not even doing it justice. Um, but I remember landing on my feet on very, very plush grass, and it was incredibly green, and I could see myself standing on this hillside, and there was a tree in front of me, and I was, and for a second I had seen it from, like, a side view, and then I went back to this first person point of view, and I remember walking up to this tree and just kneeling before it. It was huge and very bushy. Um, it wasn't a willow tree. It may have been a... Um, I don't remember if it was a birch or... No, it may have been an elder tree, but I'm definitely not sure whatsoever. Um, it was a tree, and I remember feeling as if the tree was talking to me, or the tree was very healing. And at the same time, whatever was going on in the real reality, I had no idea what was going on. Oh, and to preface all this, um, before we had done the triple C, I had learned that my friend had also done it with another of her friends, and they ended up having the same trip. Just keep that in mind as I go on. So there was this tree, and I remember kneeling down in front of it and it talking or healing me, talking to me or healing me somehow. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I said, um, but I remember a wind blowing and then one leaf from this tree flew over the cliff, uh, over the ocean that was behind it, 
and I fell into this courtroom kind of like how like the first time Harry from Harry Potter uh, experiences the Tim and he gets put into the courtroom with Dumbledore but as that alone there were people in this courtroom and the judge was talking about something and there was just this noise coming from outside and so I left the courtroom, went down a hallway and out some double doors to this just flood of protesters over people protesting animal cruelty, women's rights, gay rights, just all kinds of stuff and then I didn't drop into this next part but more it just like I phased into this next part for seeing if that makes it easier to understand but this next scene I'm not going to talk about because it is pretty darn personal um, it was a memory of my childhood um, but then that scene happened and then I remember I think there was one more scene after that uh, or there was a scene after that that I don't remember I remembered it once but I don't remember it all the time um, but then after that I remember being put into the desert and the desert had a day side and a night side and in the night side I could see a light in the distance so I walked towards the light. Now I've also had dreams that would fit into this next part but I'm not going to talk about it because I'm not sure and it didn't happen during this transfer vision class um, but I remember walking towards this light and I took maybe five steps it could have been longer but it seemed to happen so fast or I walked there so fast there were definitely more than five steps in the sand but once I got there there were these two pillars and they were like granite I think or yeah I think they were granite and there was a giant fire and there was what looked like to be a shaman behind this fire and there were tribal people around this fire and there was a drum I do believe um, and once I had realized that there was an actual person in front of me I just slightly came out of the trance and I noticed that I was drawing on my arm at the same time this was happening completely unaware of the real reality going on around me and I ended up being pulled back into the trance and the shaman just kind of looked at me and the uh, what happened um the shaman looked at me and i can't remember if the fire got bigger before or after um this but i remember raising my left hand towards the left pillar and then um, it was kind of I remember feeling an emotion like a solemn hand raised
spread the love killer, if that makes any sense. Um, but I can't remember if the killer had glowed with symbols on it, but I do remember that the fire had gotten bigger and then there was another white light and I slowly came back to the real reality and a single tear fell from my right eye and I just chalked it up to, um, I guess my eyes had been hit open the whole time because when I came out of the train, I had realized that I had written 10 symbols on my left arm, on top of my left arm. what I would deem as geometrically perfect. Um, straight lines, even the spirals and squiggles were perfect. Um, heard of automatic writing before, and recently I've been doing a little more research on automatic writing and automatic drawing, but the one video I have found about automatic writing, I know the psychic twins do automatic writing, um, but this other person I watched actually, uh, talked about how to do it, and she only talked about writing happening in English, so, and these symbols were definitely not A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, 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 um, but, it was like a combination of automatic writing and automatic drawing, or the language I had gotten was just not from the world or from this dimension. Um, and before this, I had felt this really deep connection to I would say, like, love, or like this peaceful, tranquil state, um, but I remember before all this happening, um, remember like mentally saying the word Jesus, um, but I don't know, I've never felt that close to Jesus, if that makes any sense. Um, but I came out of all of it, and then when I did start school, I had taken up doing um, some drawings, and they were they started off not as detailed, and by the end of my senior year, they were so incredibly detailed that it kind of took its toll on my hands, like. And I started to do this larger piece, but 
I didn't have like a table and not having cannabis kind of didn't help um, because at least with cannabis I was able to deal with my hand feeling weird like I haven't done something serious in years like I said I want to do more serious light work this year as a part of my resolution um, but Doing those drawings, it was kind of like, I can't remember how it was explained in Ex Machina, but that pic or that painting he talks about with the dude. what would happen if you knew what you were doing but weren't know what you were doing kind of thing I can't remember if you explained it really weird um but I did that um and then as you've seen in my other uh intros and outros or those meditation meditation telekinetic type videos um, that my whole room became this, um, piece of artwork, or, I don't know, it could have been a message or something, but between that room, there was this tree that I would do a, um, oh, uh, what you call it, a nematon? I guess um, that's like the only word for a magical tree that I know, and I got that off a of team wolf. Um, and then there was once a cemetery beyond that tree, which would have um, completed a triangle, I guess. Um, and as you've seen, I did have the dark side of the moon painted on one of those walls. Um, and I had ended up doing something to one of the corners of this triangle and a couple of months later some apartment developers had come and moved the cemetery and started to build on top of it but from things I've heard is that there was a house that people were saying was haunted or that the owner said was haunted because they've seen things go on in there and then I've seen my share of things in that room and in that old house because I live here now um, not to mention all kinds of uh, blessings and rituals that I was doing during the blood moons and full moons um, that stuff really started to happen, uh, not because my senior year was 2011, no, 2012 and 2011, so this trance thing happened the summer before 2012, or at the end of the world was supposed to happen, and then I started YouTube a year later after I had graduated, um, and, oh wait, where was I then? don't remember, um, but, it was just weird because I have seen spirits, um, way before this, and nobody taught me witchcraft, I learned it on my own, and I ended up picking it up in grade school um, and I had seen maybe one documentary on automatic writing before and I was like, I remember telling myself, man I wish that would happen to me one day and I haven't seen that 
documentary sense and finding information on automatic writing is on YouTube because there's not even that much information on Google and I thought that maybe seeing YouTubers talk about it would explain it better but nobody's really talking about it and when you type in automatic drawing it just brings up people who are doing artwork like some of it's like pure automatic drawing but just nothing that I have experienced before um, and since then I've, I've like I've always felt connected to the other side or other dimensions or planets or whatever, but since then I've been, it's like that connection has been heightened, but without Universe, I feel like it's not as strong of a connection, I guess, as, you know, I don't know you guys, but it was weird. Um, oh, and I came out of this trance and stuff, and to me, because this was like moments after I came out, I remember seeing the stuff on my arm, but then I remember seeing my friend against their dresser as if they were like pushed by something, because this person was like grabbing on to it. And then I remember their mom had some cake and I had a piece of cake and I just kind of sat on the bed and I ended up like flat out falling asleep for a couple of hours. Um, it has been the morning when we got there. This happened maybe this oh, the trance happened from start to finish the head. So it was like maybe four minutes max and I remember falling asleep and rolling around in cake for a couple of hours and nobody tried to wake me up or be like, hey, Jada, you're rolling in cake. Um, but then I went home and I slept some more. I was incredibly weak or I felt really tired and just exhausted, I guess. Um, but that's my story of when I tripped on Triple C's. Um, if you want to hear more stories like this, then uh, leave me some interest comments. If you like this video and want to watch more, um, then check me out and hit the subscribe button for when I post new material. Um, and if you haven't already, um, maybe you like this video? I don't know. Alright, bye guys. <laughs>
fire.